We recently painted our front door and we were very pleased with the result. Very pleased apart from the letterbox. The letterbox was black, but it had some spots in it and it looked like it hadn't been cleaned for ages. In our defense, we only moved into the house just over a year ago and I don't think it had been cleaned before we'd moved in. So not a problem, I thought. Got myself a scarab, one of the type that you use for non-stick pans, and I thought I'd give it a clean. Now, I do have to confess that I did add some sift to it, and I thought that will get the mess off the letterbox. And I thought, it's going to look great, doors painted, the letterbox will look clean, it's going to look lovely. I asked no, after a few wipes, I made it look terrible, as I'll show you here below. You see, what I thought was spots was the bare metal. And as I was scrubbing, I was scrubbing, not the spots, but I was scrubbing off the paint and it looks absolutely horrible. But that reminds me of a verse in Isaiah and Isaiah the prophet wrote this, but we are all like an unclean thing and all our righteousnesses are like filthy rags. Righteousnesses, those are acts that are, are pure, acts that are upright, moral acts that are right before God. And here the prophet is saying, a message from God himself, that all our attempts to be right before God, not just useless, but they are worse than useless. They're like filthy rags. Not a pleasant reading, I confess, but it's true. It's from God. So we try and we fail to be right before God. Why? Because we disobey his laws. Yes, God knows that we can be good at times, and God does commend people for that. But there's nobody who can be fully right or perfect in the sight of God. And anyone claiming to be right in the eyes of God fails, just as I fail to clean my letterbox. So what did I do with my letterbox? There was only one thing I could do if I wanted to have a spotless letterbox, I had to get a new one. And sure enough, when I got a new one, it is absolutely spotless. And that reminds me of what God offers to us. Even though we have failed God, even though we've sinned against God, even though we've broken his rules and his commandments to us, he offers to make us like new. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, we read this. Therefore, if anyone in, is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Christ. That's referring to Jesus Christ, his son, who died on the cross to take away those filthy rags, to take away that sin. In Christ. In him. That refers to those who put their trust and faith in him. You see that you will never be right before God with anything you do. But if you trust in Christ Jesus, you'll be forgiven your sin and you will be made a new creation, a new person, one without sin, one that is righteous in the sight of God.